Coming up. Accept that today is a new day for you to love yourself, love others, and make new decisions for your future. We are back. People may say your past determines your future, but my next guest says you can choose your future with targeted decision making. Mm -hmm. Who am I talking about? Rocket scientist and author of the book, Answers Unleashed to the Science of Attracting What You Want, Olympia LaPointe joins us. Welcome, Olympia. How you doing? Hi, how are you? We're, we it's don't have a rocket well. scientist on every day. I know. You say that you can attract the life you want with quantum deciding. That sounds so analytical and so deep and so, what is that? Quantum deciding is the six decisions that we each make for the future that we want. And it requires us to actually go into the future, see what we want, go in the past, observe what we've ex experienced, and actually come to the present moment and make six key decisions so we start building the future that we want for ourselves. And we each have exactly what we need for the future that we want. But we typically overlook it because we always think that we don't have enough. Like, for example, I came from an extreme poverty-filled situation, and I didn't realize that I had exactly what I needed in order to go into rocket science. Mm -hmm. Now, that sounds counterintuitive, but what I had is the drive. A lot of people do not realize that inner city students and kids have what it takes to actually go forward. You call out six different decisions to create the life that you want. Take us through these. Yeah. What's the first one? You have to decide that you are here on this earth for a powerful purpose. And typically we don't know what our purpose is until we actually start walking in it. Every single day, we have to just make the decision, what am I going to do today that's going to show me the reason why I'm alive? For, for like, as an example for myself, I love science. The reason why I am here is to explain science in such a very profound, easy way so people of all backgrounds can really embrace it so we find the solution for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. the, the second decision is you have to own your identity. You have such a unique ability to you. And, and for me, I didn't realize that being a woman and being a woman of color was going to be very unique, where I could present my way of thinking and solutions to NASA and to space programs and to books. When you embrace the way in which you uh, operate, your uniqueness, your ability to be like no one else, that empowers you to make the decisions that is going to be more in line with your future. Yeah. So that's the second decision. I love that. Know your purpose, know your why, and know who you are. Get clear on who you are. Now, <laughs> Olympia, you say your third decision lies within your intent. Tell us about that. Uh, your intent is very powerful. Now, let me describe that. Mm -hmm. Most people think that when they enter a tough situation, the tough situation is going to crack them and break them. Mm -hmm. And really, it's the other way around. Through our decision-making power, through your choice, through what you choose to do, you can impact situations. And it is you that, once you step into your environment, it is you through your decisions who changes it. And that is one of the most important key aspects for all of us to remember, mm -hmm. is that we always have the ability to impact any environment that we're in. Mm -hmm. the, the next decision is based on your learning. What do, what do you decide to learn? We each, when we choose to learn something new, something amazing happens in the brain. Our frontal lobes activate. Our frontal lobes are responsible for our problem solving and decision making abilities. When we learn about something new, that helps our brain rewire itself in a profound way so we start seeing true facts, true information, and we're able to discard the fake news. When we learn what's true, we're able to embrace that and apply it to our life. Brilliant. When we choose to look at whatever resources that we have, in my case, it was my natural drive. It was my desire to learn. It was my desire to change my environment. When we take whatever natural resources that we have within our thinking, within our environment, with, with even the resources that we have, the dollars that we have, we can multiply it. 
when we multiply it, we see large corporations owned and, and formed. If you look at the, the CEOs, if they've taken what resources that they had and built it, and we see this all in the technical world with all the big conglomerate um, businesses that are out there. Amazing. I'm feeling inspired just sitting here, Doc. Right? Are you a frustrated rocket scientist? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling inspired. Now, Olympia, finally, what's the all-important last decision? So often, we've experienced really tough situations in our past. And we've thought, oh, my God, I've made a horrible mistake. I, I, I can't ever go forward. Yeah. And that is the biggest lie. You can't ever cancel yourself. Mm. What you have to do is love yourself no matter what you've gone through. And this is the way that you do that. If you go back to your past moments and actually observe yourself and observe the situation, not putting yourself in the situation where you still relive, relive the, the tough situations and, and become emotionally charged by it, but rather if you go into the past and look at yourself as an observer, something scientific as well as something powerful happens. Mm -hmm. By becoming the observer, you connect with yourself and you start to see yourself for who you are, mm -hmm. which is a person who is human, a person who is still learning, and a person who has ultimate possibilities in front of them. And it all requires you to accept that today is a new day for you to love yourself, mm -hmm. love others, and make new decisions for your future. I love that. Moving from the stage to the audience and watch what your life looks like. I love that. We're talking quantum deciding. Great stuff. Great Thank stuff. you so much, mm -hmm. Olympia LaPointe. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It's my honor to be here. All right. You can head to our website, thedoctorstv.com, for more information about rocket science or whatever you want. Much more right <laughs> after the break. <laughs>